If you don't travel in hospitality, you're just you're just blind. You're you're blinkers on. You're you're not aware of what's going on in the world. So um, the more you eat out, the more you experience, and not just only the food, just the whole environment of restaurants, mm. um, the better. So that was where the idea came from. So Cleaveries. Right. Flew from day one, yeah. I was it was probably one of the du- Dublin's most successful restaurants for by a long shot. Um yeah, I would say so. We were we were fully booked. Um God, we were fully booked for a long, long time. Um every day of the week it was it was a great success. Um so maybe within a very short period of time, like it kind of washed its face. Um, and and Cleaverys gave me great confidence because Cleaverys was kind of also a, a change in my life from where up until that point I, I always knew I wasn't a Michelin star guy, if that makes sense. Yes, I had a Michelin star restaurant, but it's not the, I do like going to Michelin star restaurants. Of course I do. And I, I really admire what it takes to get a Michelin star and the hard work and effort that's put into it. The years, the 10 years before you get there. Mm-hmm. That's what the important thing is. Having the star is, is irrelevant. You know, mm-hmm. that's like, a, that's like having a good round of golf. It wasn't that one day. It was the years of golf you played to get you to that good round. So, um, I, I really, um, I suppose it, at that stage, I, I kind of just done the opposite. I wrote down so how the decision was. I wrote down everything Bon Appetit was. And I said, well, what do I want Cleaver to be? And it was pretty much opposite. So it, I wanted it to be a fun place. We played really loud house music. It was really, it was inexpensive. Like the dishes were between six and 13 euros a dish. Um, I wanted people to have just best quality food they could possibly eat, the best quality service. But why over, why do you price yourself out of market? You know, and I felt that's what um, the world of fine dining chefs do. I hope you enjoyed that clip from Chef Table Podcast. You can find full episodes on our website at hotelandrestauranttimes.ie forward slash podcast and on Spotify and YouTube at Hotel and Restaurant Times Podcast. Thank you for listening and we hope you can tune in again. Bye for now.